Thank you for your purchase of a glass bead dispenser kit for your Titan Speedflow Walk Behind Striper. For clarity, we have removed the hydraulic power pack and pump from the frame for this instructional video. Your kit will contain the following, an instruction manual, bead dispenser, bead hose, bead hopper with lid, bead hopper mounting bracket, feed hose, hose clamps, and hardware kit. To begin, locate the caster cable on the underside of the striper behind the pivoting front wheel. Using a half inch wrench, loosen the tensioning nut and remove the caster cable from its mounted location so that it hangs slack. Locate the four factory installed hopper mounting holes. Older models may have larger holes or may require holes to be drilled. We have supplied additional hardware to accommodate these earlier models. Slide the lower mounting bracket under the striper frame but over the top of the caster cable. Position the mounting bracket so that it straddles the outside of the frame of the striper and lines up with the factory installed mounting holes on each side of the frame. Secure the lower mounting bracket to the striper frame using the provided bolts, washers, and lock washers and tighten using a closed end wrench. Reinstall the caster cable to its original mounting location on the striper frame. Slide the bead hopper tube into the bracket receiver and secure in place at the base of the mounting bracket, ensuring that the hopper output tubes point toward the striping guns. Using the provided bolt, Thread the bolt into the base receiver and tighten with a wrench. Reposition and secure the horizontal gun arm support to the outside position as it would be when striping. Remove the paint gun from the gun holder and set it to one side. Loosen the clamp on the horizontal gun arm support and slide the gun bar all the way forward to make room for installation of the bead dispenser. Using an Allen wrench, remove the socket head screws on the mounting bracket of the glass bead dispenser. Position the glass bead dispenser on the support arm approximately 6 inches behind the striping gun and snug the socket head screw a few turns to hold the bead dispenser in place. At this point, the bead dispenser should be able to slide up and down the support arm with ease. Next, remove the linkage from the bead dispenser. At the opposite end of the actuating rod, remove the nut from the threaded ball stud end. Install the threaded ball joint through the factory provided hole in the gun actuator plate. Thread nut onto ball stud on the back side of the actuating plate and tighten using an open end wrench on the ball stud hex and a closed end wrench on the nut. Attach the quick disconnect swivel to the newly installed ball joint. Next, secure the other end of the linkage to the glass bead dispenser door in the same quick release fashion. Install the striping gun into the gun holder and ensure that the bead dispenser door is in the closed position. Secure the glass bead dispenser mounting bracket to the support arm 
by tightening the shaft collar onto the gun arm. If the door is in the open position after tightening, you will need to loosen the cap screws and shift the dispenser backward until the door remains closed. Attach hoses from the bead dispenser hopper to the glass bead dispenser. The hose should be routed progressively downward so that the beads may gravity flow to the dispenser. Trim hose length if necessary. Once the bead hose has been measured and trimmed, secure the hose to the glass bead dispenser with the provided hose clamps using a flathead screwdriver. Using the striper gun actuating lever on the right side handlebar, test the operation of the glass bead dispenser and adjust if needed. Adjusting the glass bead width and flow. The adjustments can be made without removing the door, but for clarity, we are removing the door for instructional purposes. To begin, remove the actuating linkage from the door lever. Next, using an Allen wrench, remove the shoulder bolts at each end of the door. When removing the door, be sure to secure the door spring as it may fall away. Next, using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the machine screws that secure the adjustment plates. The inside plate adjusts the width of the line from 6 inches to 4 inches. The outside plate adjusts the amount of beads that flow. The bead dispenser is factory set for a 6 inch line and a 50% bead flow. After the adjustment is made, Reposition the spring in the door and mount the door to the mounting bracket and tighten the shoulder bolts. And finally, reinstall the actuating linkage. 